Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokana here, and today we're going to be discussing which 120 lead banners give you the most bang for your Dragonstone. So, per the title of my video, may want to hold off on summoning on the Super Saiyan 4 banner. So, let's just start off with a couple of disclaimers here. First off, uh, this video, the speculation, is purely based off of just that speculation from the JP side. Chances of Global actually changing things on their banners is really likely because they've changed things in the past. Hell, they've even changed cards in the past. Though, if things are done the same on the Global side, then this will be a very viable plan of action. We'll probably be able to tell if the Super Saiyan 4 banner has something different with it, but for the most part, I kind of believe that at least all the Dokken exclusives are going to remain the same, unless they actually add additional Dokken exclusives to banners. Now let me pre-state before we get into the banners, is that I'm not going to be talking about every single card on every banner. But we're just going to be talking about cards that I feel are a little bit more relevant. Specifically, it's going to be the Dokken exclusives and any new card that is going to be available. Once we're done with that review, we're going to go and do a follow-up review to a last call, which is essentially the last time you're going to be able to pull for a unit because they will no longer show up in a future banner. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. The first two banners we're going to talk about are the Super Saiyan 4 banners, that is the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. On the Super Saiyan 4 Goku banner, we have Strength Gogeta, Super Vegito, the agility one, Goku Black, and we're also just going to mention the Strength Super Saiyan 3 Goku, only because he gets his Doken Awakening here, and he is Super Saiyan 4 Goku's best linking buddy. Now, those are really good units. If you don't have them, I would probably recommend if you want to stay within meta and you don't care about throwing some cash into the game, go for it. If you're looking for the best bang for your Dragonstone, or you are essentially a free-to-play player, or you just don't want to drop money into the game, you might want to hold off, and again, we're going to get into that a little bit later. The Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta banner. We have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, we have Super Saiyan Rose, Super Vegito Blue, now that's the Super Lead, a Tech Frieza, and the New Pan. Both of these come out together, and they have the buy three, get one free, so you do have a good deal going on, and there's a whole bunch of stone sales. So again, I'm not going to tell you to not pull on them, but what, when we keep on going on, you're going to hear all a lot of these cards be mentioned again. Uh, let's move on to the Korra banner. The Korra banner, you got obviously the Korra, Merge Zamasu, the physical 70% lead Broly, the strength 100% leader strength cell, full power Frieza, and the new Gohan, the Gohan riding the Icarus. The following banner would be the Super Saiyan 3 Goku banner, which has the Tech Gotenks, the Rage Trunks, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, Intelligence Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, the new Time Breaker Bardock, and they also have the Strength Vegeta, the one that damage reduces, the one that has the 80% a damage reduction for seven turns they have that on this banner as well the following banner is super 17 where you get the super saiyan 4 vegeta the super vegeto the super saiyan rose and the new android 17s the ssrs and the sr then we're followed up with kid boo who has the buhan intelligence janemba tech frieza and the new strength squiggly looking boo who doken awakens into the buff boo then we have the new gogeta and janemba now they have swap types this is the one with the Intelligence Gogeta on that Intelligence Gogeta banner. We have Super Saiyan 4 Goku. We have Super Saiyan 3 Goku, both 120 leads. We have Super Vegito Blue, the physical super leader. Rage Trunks Intelligence Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And the Dokken exclusive Tech Beerus, which isn't too much hype, but he is on there. The next one is the Janemba banner, which has physical cooler. The Merged Zamasu. Omega Shenron, the 70% lead, Time Breaker Bardock, the physical Goku Black lead, the 100% lead, Strength Cell, the 100% lead, and they have a new agility Janemba, which Doken Awakens, so you can increase the, the super attack of your Janemba. Last but not least, we're going to go over the Gotenks banner, and the four worth mentioning there are obviously the physical Gotenks, the 120, the Super Vegito Blue, the physical Gotenks, the one that seals super attacks, he also has a Doken Awakening, I just mentioned him because he's a really useful card and the tech 70% lead Gotenks. So that is all the banners up until the physical one. We don't know the extreme tech type at this point in the game. We're probably going to get it in the next couple of weeks. I just wanted to make sure that this was brought to you guys before it dropped on the global side. With that being said, let's go over the last calls. And again, just a disclaimer, this is purely based off of what happened on JP. 
things may play out different on global. So the 120 last calls are Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta banner. Everything's available in the future. Every single major card that's available on the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta banner will be available on future banners. Let's talk about Super Saiyan 4 Goku banner. Well, the only one that's available there that won't be available in the future banners, at least at this point, is the Strength Gogeta. So if you don't have the Strength Gogeta, you might want to consider pulling on it. Me personally, I am paid to play, so I'll be pulling for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I just want to stay within meta also, so I'll be pulling on that. But if you are looking for the best banner to pull on, at least between the two, you're going to want to pull for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku banner because you have a better chance of getting a better character, and that character won't be around anytime soon. So go for the, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku banner. The next banner, the last calls are for the physical Broly, the 70% lead Broly, and the full power Frieza. Now, full power Frieza is Korra's, or Cooler's, linking buddy. They link very well together, so if you want that Korra and you don't have full power freeze, I would probably recommend to pull on that banner so that way you can get them if you want to run an optimal team. If you're just looking to get the 120 leads in general and don't care about really having the optimal linking buddies and everything, you could probably go get away with skipping it. I know a lot of guys do not like the physical Broly though, I'm a big fan of him. But anyway, the full power freeze and the physical Broly are the last calls on each of them. The Super Saiyan 3 Goku banner, the last calls are the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, and this Strength Vegeta, and that's the Damage Reducer Vegeta. So those really, they've been available a lot, but they, in my opinion, are not really as useful. So you might not even want to pull on the Super Saiyan 3 Goku banner. It, it, honestly, every single one of those cards afterwards are available afterwards. And the new uh, Time Breaker Bardock isn't a Doken exclusive, so you can pull them on outside of the Doken exclusive banners. The next follow-up banner is the Super 17 banner. This one has the last calls of Super Saiyan Rose, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Super 17, and Super Vegito. That's right. Super 17 is only available on his banner at this point in time. Um, also the Super Vegito. So the Super 17 banner, in my opinion, that's why I'm only going to pull for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Because on the Super 17 banner, I have a chance to get Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. They're both available on here. It's essentially an agility-only banner. And you also get, well, me, I get dupes of Rose and Super Vegito, which would be cool. Uh, but they have the Super 17 Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, both 120 leads. I'm going to be pulling on the Super 17 banner. If you're looking for an agility leader, I would recommend to not pull on Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and to pull on the Super 17 as you have a chance to get both 120 lead. The next banner for the Kid Buu, the last calls are the Tech Frieza, which is whatever, kind of, in my opinion. Buhan, that's going to be a decent one if you don't have him, I would recommend going for it. The Intelligence Doken Exclusive Janemba, that's the one who defends against all types, and the new Kid Buu. Again, he, Kid Buu is not available moving on in the future, so you might, if you really want an Intelligence lead, he might be the one you want to go for. Plus, you get the Buhan, those two would link up pretty well together. I'm not a big fan of it, I'm not pulling on that one, I don't really want the Kid Buu, I don't have, a, I mean, I have a decent Intelligence team, but whatever. The next double Dokkan Fest is the Gogeta and the Janemba banners. If you're going to pull for anything, um, if you're not going to pull for any of them, these would be the two banners that you really want to save for. Last calls are Rage Trunks, Intelligent Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and the 120 Gogeta. This banner, not only does it have three 120 leads, it's also the last time that any of them are available up until this point in the game. Now granted, this is very close in terms of where we're at on the JP side. This is towards the end of where we're at right now at the current time point in time. But this is probably going to be one of the last times we get to see those guys for a while. I don't know what the tech extreme lead is going to be, but I don't see any of the supers being on that banner. Unless it's a tech only, then you might get the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Janemba, not only do you have the two 120 leads, the Janemba and the physical cooler, it's the last call for Goku Black, Merge Zamasu, the Strength Cell, the Omega Shenron, the physical 120 cooler, and the Janemba. So each of those is its own last call. Again, there's only a couple banners after that, but in terms of Doken exclusives, the only one left is the Gotenks. On that banner, last call is Gotenks, obviously, the Tech Gotenks, and the Super Vegito Blue. Now, that is where we're at in the game. Now, the Super Vegito Blue is sprinkled throughout all the banners. The Tech Gotenks is available on the Super Saiyan 3 Goku banner, and he's also available on this Gotenks banner, so... It, you know, that's why, you know, I don't really think it's worth pulling on that Super Saiyan 3 Goku banner at all. But, you know, that's just my opinion. So... Outside of all that, I just wanted to talk about the three most useful banners in my opinion. And those would be the Super 17, because it has Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, the Gogeta, 
and the Janemba. Now that is the Intelligence Gogeta and the, the Strength Janemba. Again, I'm just going to state it one more time, that Gogeta has three 120 leads. Intelligence Gogeta, Strength Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Janemba has two 120 leads, the 120 Strength Janemba and the 120 Physical Cooler. The Super 17 banner has both 120 Agility leaders. It has the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and the Super 17. So that's it guys, that's my opinion, that's what I feel would be the best ones to go through. When the tech banner comes out and we find out what the tech extreme lead is and what is available on that banner, I'll do a follow up to this video. I just want to let you know that I know there's a lot of hype for the Super Saiyan 4 banners, but don't let that be your deciding factor that you pull on those. If you're really trying to scrounge for stones and you don't want to spend a lot of stones and you want to make sure that you're going to do well, take a look at what you currently have in game which ones which cards are really your best units save for that specific banner and i know that the gogeta and janemba are still months away and you have all been waiting so long for the super saiyan fours just remember play it smart if you don't want to put money into the game don't just do it because it's hyped all right if you still plan on pulling on one of the super saiyan 4 banners but you don't know which one you should pull for i would recommend super saiyan 4 goku because he's the most viable in terms of damage output Plus, remember, you also, if you happen to have that Gogeta, that 120 strength team is going to be good against every, well, essentially every single Doken exclusive that comes out. Because Gogeta, if you all know, damages every single type as if he has a full attribute advantage. So having him on a Super Saiyan 4 Goku team, it's a no-brainer. But that's my opinion, just my opinion. Again, if we follow suit with JP... Thank you for joining me here, guys. Hit that sub button if you're new, if you like the content, and I will catch you all in the next video.